I, when I look up and down the roster right now, I, I really am at peace with it. I think that uh, this is a club that uh, has certainly run into more adversity than any other team that I've, I've had in my, you know, my long history as a coach. And uh, I, I'm really close to these young men because of everything they've gone through. I just can't say enough about them. I think they're uh, a great group of guys that have really applied themselves and, you know, found ways to win that just, you know, some some other teams wouldn't have found a way to win. So, it's, uh, you know, I, I'm very happy to be working with these young men and going into the playoffs with them. Yeah, you know what, we're, we're just fine with it. You know, Spencer, when I go back to the start of the year, and I look at the roster that we, you know, initially started with, and, you know, all summer long, that I put it together in a, in a specific manner where, you know, I wanted a different player in a different position and so on and so forth. But, you know, things change, and they always do. You uh, you never have exactly what you, you started out with, and sometimes for the good, sometimes not. But where we're at, you know, we feel it's about – We've got a, a very good opponent. Obviously, uh, Boise is one of the best teams in the league and has been all year long. And we're certainly aware that we've got our work cut out for us. But in all honesty, I don't think there would be a team that we could possibly face in this first round that wouldn't be, you know, the same way where it's going to be a you know, very, very tough battle for us. But <clears throat> having said that, again, we are battle-tested. We are a team that have gone through some very, very difficult situations. And, uh, you know, all, everything that's been dealt to us, whether it's been fair or not, has made us a better team and made us the team that we are today. So we want to take what we have and make the best of it and um, see if we can't find a way to win our last game. Well, you know, I mean, when you're certainly looking at experience, that's one thing. And then, uh, you know, maybe without that experience, maybe that's not such a bad idea. So I I look at our hockey club as as one that's, uh, you know, in some cases, ignorance is bliss. And in other cases, that experience is going to help us. So, you know, you take what, uh, what you can out of everything and turn it into a positive, just like starting out on the road. We, we started out on the road, and, and uh, certainly a lot would believe that it's a much easier start off at home, but we felt, you know what, starting out on the road is just fine with us. We've got a chance to uh, concentrate solely on hockey <clears throat> and stay away from, you know, distractions as best we possibly could. Well, you know what, I, I can tell you this, I certainly uh, believe in the best of seven over the best of three. I've always felt the best of seven will ultimately give you the best team at that time of the year, and uh, I, I really believe that. So, you know, as far as the numbers are concerned and a business perspective, uh, the worst-case scenario that you could ever come up with is the best of five. That's been proven uh, uh, every which way to Sunday that the best of five is not a good economical way to go as far as a, a sports team is concerned. So going with the best of seven, to me, rather than the best of three, which is uh, both their uh, economical situations for a, for a company, the best of seven to me is, is uh, by far the fairest, the truest way to see who's the best team, again, at this time of the year. So. Uh, I couldn't be happy with it. I think the best of seven is exactly where it should be, and we're looking for a, a you know a very good uh, a very good battle. Well, I mean for for us right now, we're you know we're not 100 percent sure. The way we felt is we finished off the season quite strongly with uh, you know Jonesy and Nat. I thought he did a great job. He really did. He uh, he is our goaltender that's got the most wins for the Colorado Eagles. He finished off the season going into a shootout and then did a great job. And then you have to look at young Adam Brown, who, in my opinion, has continued to grow and continue to be a goaltender that's uh, going to be one of the best in the league and certainly has a bright future. So, you know, right now it's, it's a, a flip a coin idea on who's going to start. Uh, tomorrow that decision is yet to be made. And, you know, whoever starts, we're, we're very comfortable with them. Well, you know what, when we looked 
about it during the regular season, certainly we cared about it. Uh, there's no doubt. I mean, for a team to be able to beat us as many times as they did, you have to know that, you know, that's 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 a, a bit of a lick that's, uh, you know, puts a wound on us that we're, we're not happy with. But uh, going into the playoffs, it's, uh, it's a distant memory now. It's something that we, we move forward from. We took what we could from it and try to find a way to turn it into a positive. But I'm not going to stand here and tell you that, that we're happy with that type of record against anybody. But we know what we know now against this hockey club, and hopefully we're going to be better because of it. But, uh, you know, it's a very good hockey team. and Got some good NHL players on it. And, uh, you know, they, <clears throat> they continue to find a way to win. But for me, that's, uh, that's in the past. And all we can control is what's in front of us. And how we make our decisions and how we decide to move forward is ultimately what's going to make a difference on us winning and losing. So that's that's what we have to do today is make the right decisions, make the right choices, get out there and play the game the way that we feel that we can play to beat this hockey club. But you're absolutely right. I mean, we we want to have to we want to uh, win that that first hockey game. Uh, here in Boise simply because we know that we have to win one game no matter what so why not win the first one if we're going to walk away with this series and that's our plan we have to win a game here and again why not take away the first one and uh, see a whole nice advantage right away <clears throat> if it's not the path that we travel then so be it it's the first team to four so it's the first team to one but I can tell you this we have to win one game, no matter what, in this building. So let's get it done as soon as possible.